Coming soon to B-Spec Productions. ¿Qué pasa, gringos? This is Santo Loco. Orgullosamente Latino hasta la muerte y después Worldwide Latino Pride The Ambassadors of Violence LAX, K-Dog, The Notorious 187 Homicide We be so big Bang, da, bang, da, bang, da, bang Don't say nothing Bang, da, bang, da, bang, da We be so big Bang, da, bang, da, bang, da Just act like you know And hold me stop I can do stopping. I'm from Miami, not Compton. Down with the essays in the six four hopping. To my body was in the seven. Okay, I am back here on the secluded paradigm. I'm inside now. As I mentioned before, very, very awesome show. And it, I'd like to say thank you very, very much to Jump and Jeff Farmer, also to Scoops, um, for participating on this show today. I am absolutely surprised that Jump and Jeff Farmer was even able to find time out of his busy schedule to approach b -Spec Productions and also approach Scoops McGee, journalist extraordinaire, to offer his so-called viewpoint about his time in professional wrestling and also all of the discussions and the so-called gossip that has been spread about him throughout that dreaded internet. The IWC Internet Wrestling Community, or whatever the critics like to say. I don't know. But bottom line is, I like to say thanks to Jumpy Jeff Farmer for finally coming out of his shadow, come out of his cave, or wherever the hell he's been, and say what he had to say to all the peeps and pee bets out there in the IWC, and also on InYourHeadOnline.com, the place to be. Get all of your internet news. Get all of your information about professional wrestling, sports, entertainment, and also to hang out with all those crazy peeps and peepets on the message boards over at InYourHeadOnline.com. Now, to sum everything up about Jeff Farmer, on a more serious note, I will say this. Jumpin' Jeff Farmer is a very important name in professional wrestling at this moment right now for one simple reason. And that reason has to do with this. The guy is remembered. He is known for basically having horrible promos that turn out to be funny and turn out to be iconic in some sort of socialistic kind of a way in terms of social media. Now, to sum everything up again for this entire episode of The Paradigm, I simply just wanted to make a video about Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Several people like to just show the video clips and not commentate or you have anything really of any initiative to say about Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. I hope this will that will change with this video right here, this version of the secluded paradigm. I could be talking about several other guys that have been a part of the professional wrestling industry over the last 30, 40 years. But I chose Jumpin' Jeff Farmer, not because I want you to be my friend on YouTube, not because I want you to see this relig religiously, although that would be nice. I did this simply because no one seems to have given a verbal response to Jumpin' Jeff Farmer over on YouTube or anywhere else. I hope that changed with this video. Jumpin' Jeff Farmer, you can laugh, you can do a lot of the non-verbal stuff and start terms of typing on the comment section and stuff through these videos, but somebody needs to actually say something verbal about this dude. Jumpin' Jeff Farmer is going to be always, always is going to be remembered for being the guy who cut the very funny hillbilly babyface role who seemed scared to death and seemed very uncomfortable in his role in terms of being on national, not national, excuse me, on television or some form. I guess IPW was syndicated. But nevertheless, the jitters are there for any young superstar, excuse me, any young professional wrestler who comes into the industry and really doesn't know that much about how to get his own character over. Obviously, Jumpin' Jeff Farmer was one of those guys. You could tell he was forced fed a lot of stuff backstage by some people. It might have been Motley Cruz, it might have been Billy Buddy Lee, it may have been anybody. But bottom line is, you could tell the guy was being fed of how to say what he wanted to say. Or... And this is a very, very good, good possibility. They were just saying, 
go out there and say whatever the hell you, you need to say, but make sure you identify with the people. And on that regard, you could tell that the guy, was, regardless of what the situation was, he was uncomfortable giving those promos out. And as a wrestler, as I mentioned before during the program, Jumping Jeff Farmer was worse than your normal job of wrestling. Job of wrestlers usually help get other guys over in terms of just laying down for them. I don't even think this guy could even do that in the WWE or WCW back then because he was just too green. Didn't seem to know that much about inside wrestling inside, although he had a lot of good fancy moves and stuff like that. But, I will say this about Jeff Farmer. He is a stand-up guy for doing motivational speaking and stuff like that from what I've heard. Um, this isn't the Jeff Farmer, the NWO sting for all you guys and gals out there who do Wikipedia searches and stuff like that. This is a completely different Jeff Farmer. The Jeff Farmer, the NWO sting I have heard from various sources has retired from pro wrestling and is now working at the University of Miami in their medical center. So that's, excuse me, Miami, but Maryland, excuse me, University of Maryland. Um, doing research and stuff like that as a pro program specialist or whatever it is. I first saw that on Wikipedia and I've also heard that from some sources and stuff like that around the internet world. Take that for what it's worth. You really don't know if it's true or not. But one thing I do know is that Jumpin' Jeff Farmer, the NWO Sting, and the Jumpin' Jeff Farmer that we all know, make fun of, laugh, enjoy their promos or whatever, that's a completely different individual. But nevertheless, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this edition of the Secluded Paradigm. I hope you enjoyed listening to Jumpin' Jeff Farmer give his take on himself and also all of the talk and chatter about his time in IPW and also about people making fun of him or whatever you want to call it. The bottom line is Jumpin' Jeff Farmer is and was the main topic of the Secluded Paradigm number 17. Now, the Secluded Paradigm... Excuse me, so this secluded paradigm is not over by a long shot. We got a whole heck of a lot more to come with the secluded paradigm. Me, El Santo Loco, have a lot of good things going on right now. And the junkyard dog will be the hot topic for the secluded paradigm number 19. Oh, excuse me, Jumping Joe Farmer right here is the secluded paradigm number 18. Sorry that I confused any of you guys and gals out there about all of that. But jumping Jeff Farmer on the secluded paradigm here is going to go down, in my opinion, as one of the most interesting topics that I've discussed on the secluded paradigm up to this point. But I'm not going to run, continue to talk in circles. Hope you guys and gals enjoyed this edition of the secluded paradigm. It was very fun, very fulfilling, and I hope that each and every one of you will tune into the secluded paradigm number 19 in which I will without a shadow of a doubt discuss the junkyard doll with El Santo Loco it's going to be a happening as the late Gorilla Monsoon once said rest in peace Eddie Guerrero rest in peace Gorilla Monsoon and all the wrestlers out there who have passed away I am spec sign for the secluded paradigm number 17 18 whatever it is it's somewhere in the teens i believe it's number 18 sorry if i confused all of you guys guys out there nevertheless have a great day everybody peace out peace bets and credits roll